This is called the GamePad Digital, and we're going to unbox it. This is the Pocket Edition. It's a nice book cover if you guys care to know the quality. Sometimes that says a lot about the product you're gonna buy. So we open it, and we're presented here with the components, USB-C plugs, headphones, the power brick, wall charger, no protection, bring it out, and booyaka, booyaka. Okay, look at this thing. It actually has really good weight to it. Oh, there's even screen protectors, and then the booklet, of course, if you wanna read and what it says and what it do. That's pretty much it, so. The headphones look like this. Kinda looks like the Apple pods and of course the new standard glad that they went with the USB-C double-sided now before I open this little tiny tiny PC gaming system this is gonna be the air ventilation where the fans gonna be most likely USB-C the display port headphone jack and USB 3.0 now it's definitely not too thick you can see this is the iPhone 7 iPhone 7 is a really thin phone it's in the case though and this is the G6 that I have it here so you can see the scale of what the size is. His razor blade still, it's not as thin as a razor blade still, but it's, this is a really thin laptop, so this is still thin enough. 13 inch laptop versus a seven inch laptop. So you can see the size difference. The next obvious thing is that there's no logo on this thing, so it doesn't say where it's from, what it is, and in the back you just say the GPD. This is most likely the speaker grill. Without reading any of the instructions, I can just kind of figure out what they're gonna be. And then big, beefy, rubbery, look at that. That is very grippy, so you're not gonna be sliding this around. I'm forcing it to do that, so it's not gonna be sliding around if you're gonna be using it. Now, let's open it up. Um, can't do it one-handed yet, but look at this thing. Tiny, mini laptop. But before I power it on, just to tell you how this feels. Ooh, listen to that. That is some soft keys. Look at this thing, look at the treble. You can feel the bounce and the click in so you're not gonna be figuring out if you missed it or not. Definitely good. There's no trackpad other than the little trackpad has a little ball here. They move like the ThinkPads. I love them when they're in the middle somewhere here. It is touch screen so you don't have to really worry about the trackpad. It does rock. I can obviously see that there's a rocking issue there. Bring it down more. Okay, that stopped the rocking. Tilt's pretty good. I do notice that it ends up hitting on the screen there. The whole entire thing is metal. There's not any plastic on this thing, so you're not getting a cheapy little product here. The buttons, here's the escape, volume controls. i hold it, so I'm holding it, and oh, there we go. Now I see a little light, so let's look at that, ooh. This does not have that ugly colorization of a screen when you're looking at it. Look at that thing. There we go, we're gonna go through the Windows boot. The viewing angles are very impressive. This is a 1080p display. You're not getting a 720p, a 800 resolution. You're getting a full HD. When I saw this, I was like, yes, I definitely want my hands on this. It looks really cool. I wanna hear- I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Huh. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there. The trackpad is very sensitive and it really reader. moves. This is the setup. You don't Next need to up, see it. The legal stuff. Ooh, in short, you buttery have to smooth. To yes, I accept. Now, I reviewed a laptop a couple weeks ago, and this speaker on this little tinier thing sounds ten times better than that laptop already. Okay, that's the last step. Okay, and we are booted up. This is signed into my Windows account. Uh, everything's pretty much how I like to have it, so the theme is there. We're gonna go to the system information here. It is running Windows 10 Home Edition. Intel Atom clocked in at 1.60 gigahertz. Eight gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system, touch support for 10 points, so that's very nice. Download Chrome, of course. So while that installs, I'll be back with a full setup with games and stuff. So we'll test all that out. Like so far that I've been using it for like the last 10 minutes, um, it, I don't feel any heat spots. Uh, of course, it's not nothing heavy intensive, but I can hear a little tiny whisper in the fan here. It's a whisper, it's not a tone, so definitely not gonna annoy you there. There's four hours and 12 minutes remaining and 98%. So it was at 100% as soon as I turned this on, so it's fully charged. Now let me go download the stuff, set it up, and I'll be back for you. It'll be like in three, two, one, and all right, I have to say I've been testing this little mini laptop for over a week now instead of the two days that I was gonna give it. This is being marketed for gaming, but it doesn't have like a dedicated GPU, although it has integrated graphics into the CPU. 
and I'm using my Timebox speakers, games or controller, press resume. Now I have all the graphics set to high right now and it's running really smooth. And this is just off of the Xbox Play Store. Graphics are very detailed for this game and it's running very smoothly with the frame rate, not chopping, so I really like that. So you could be playing these type of games on this little mini computer. Of course, it's running Windows 10 fully, so you can run all your student apps and all the other stuff that you need. I think we're in the cliff. Oh shit, hit it. And of course, you don't have to use a controller. You can be playing on the screen since it's touch screen. So of course, I have it set for playing with a controller, but you could also move with the mouse. Of course, it's not handheld like this, so you would technically need to be using it this way. If you're going to be using a mouse and a keyboard, you can, but I like using the controllers, obviously. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Stab. Oof. So I'm not trying to review this game, I'm just showing you that the game runs really good. That's that game. We'll just minimize the game, leave it running in the background. We can open up BlueStacks, and obviously BlueStacks is gonna allow you to do Play Store applications, so you can run this like a tablet. But I, of course, loaded my favorite apps to watch movies and shows that are not free. And I also downloaded Rocket League, and since the controller is also on, I can press start, and here is what it looks like. Now, I am running it on pretty low graphics on here because it takes a little bit more GPU. It's not the smoothest frame rates on this game. Without having like a huge laptop or a desktop PC, you can play this on the go. If you're really bored and you just want to play, at least you got this. Let's go. And then launch Overwatch. So basically everything's lowered to the resolution that this thing should play. So we're going to go into training. We'll use Farah. And there we go. Now this is running so much smoother than Rocket League, surprisingly. So I'm still using the controller here. This runs so much better than Rocket League and you guys would enjoy actually playing it because you're a little far away from the screen. You still see a lot of the animation and effects going on through this game. Let's minimize. And let's look control alt delete and we're gonna see how task manager is happening now we got seven apps running in the background what is taking what overwatch has the most percent and then we're gonna go to performance and look at the performance here cpu is at hundred percent at two gigahertz and above memory is 6.3 gigahertz out of eight everything is still smooth even though it's at hundred percent but look at this thing super tiny is doing windows 10 pc stuff all in the size, we can see the iPhone 7 next to the Windows 10 PC. And here's the Pixel. Pretty small, compact PC here. Now I can't really tell you who this little mini laptop is gonna be for, but I will say that it works really nicely. I like how compact it is. If you need a Windows 10 PC to do homework, even work as in business stuff, this is gonna be capable of doing all that. Don't expect gaming hardcore stuff on this, although you can lower it all to the lowest resolution and play them, but you're gonna to have to suffer with that low resolution, obviously. Now the keyboard is really cramped. Obviously you're gonna to have to get used to typing a lot closer. You're not gonna be typing as fast as you think. You will have to adjust yourself. Also touch screen so you don't have to worry about having to use a trackpad, although I did like using this, but the viewing angle still stays very nice no matter how you angle it. Very responsive, very fast. I do hear the fan. And that's as loud as it's gonna get. You're not gonna hear an annoying pitch sound to it. But there you guys have it. The battery life totally depends on your use. What you have connected, if you're doing Bluetooth, if you're doing a lot of video watching, if your brightness is higher, it all depends. But I will say that I got three hours and I was heavy using so three hours on this little beast to perform how it did it is pretty impressive to me it does charge really fast I'm pretty sure if I was doing homework or just reading stuff I can get four to five hours out of this thing it does sound a little expensive but you're not getting a cheap little laptop will this replace your desktop or laptop that is 13 inch and above no, this is definitely something that you want to pocket and take everywhere with you with the similar functions of a bigger laptop or a desktop PC. That's pretty much all I have to say. I have no complaints 
for what it can do. If you want it, find it in the description down below. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.